You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Room. And she said, There's no time for lube. And I said, There's always time for lube. Always. She's a bit of spit. Ooh. Mucus. Anyway, welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week we have a special guest. It's Paul Usher, a pop star and piano botherer. Welcome. I probably should have phrased that a little bit better. Uh, no, I do bother the pianos. All 88 keys. I tinkle those ivories. It's not... Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, <laughs> On <yeah>. air, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Mike, what shower of shit have you got to force down our throats today? Are you into scat suddenly? <laughs> Didn't say no. Um, well, today I have an update on everyone's favourite gorilla. On screen now you can see our contact info. It's at The Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, thecud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast service, just search for Chewing The Cud. And hit like and follow us. And as the names travel across the bottom of the screen, we get ready for this week's showbiz with Lee. <laughs> Now, I know Mike is a little Naz fan. Uh, how, are you a, are you a fan? So whenever I say Lil, it always sounds very, very middle class. Lil Naz Lil, Lil. I always think of Phil and Lil from Phil <laughs> Um No, I am. Yeah, representation across the board um, and good tunes and good provocative and yeah. And he's wow. pretty. And he's yeah. pretty. And he's taller than you think. He's like six foot three or something, isn't he? Anybody? Really? Yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> way back. Way back. <laughs> I'm big Nas X. So I'm everything he knows. <laughs> Well, he he's currently touring with with his with his tour, strangely enough. Um, <laughs> As he desperately tries to find his story. Scroll, 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 scroll. This. But he has because because we assume that famous people and pop stars they're a little bit different than us. But they all need they all need to pee, they all need to poop, and you know, unfortunately, he, what he please he, tell me you've not got a story about little Lazarus pee and poo. He's poop. <laughs> so he was he was mid, sort of set. Mm -hmm. And he had to stop because he needed to go and drop the kids off at the pool. <laughs> so basically what he did was he told the, the audience that he, in the middle of a show in Atlanta, that he needed to go to the, to the bathroom. So, so he, the, he came over the... He came over the, the, the Tannoy, Tannoy, I don't think he has a <laughs> Tannoy. Tannoy. On the speaker's um, brand name. <laughs> so, saying, saying I'm, I, you know, I need to take a mean shit. I'll be a minute or two and I'll be right back. Um, so then he retweeted that to, to kind of basically saying... People really thought I was joking, but I was literally back there dropping demons into that <laughs> toilet. There's a oh. way with words, isn't it? He is um, modern day Oscar Wilde, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so he's on his he's on his tour at the moment, his his Montanero tour. Um it's got rave reviews. I think he opened his first thing by voguing to Beyonce's Pure Honey, Pure mm -hmm. Slash Honey. Mm -hmm. Um we've got a picture of him on stage. Uh, this is his tour poster. Um, and very understated. Very understated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we've got a picture of him on stage. He isn't kind of a stranger to controversy. One of the the gigs in America, there was um, there he is. There he is with his golden crotch. I want. You see, he always I borrows my too. clothes, and that pink one, I want it back when he's finished because. <laughs> You know, I like his robotic Versace pants. Yeah, He's, yeah. So one of the venues, there was some protesters, homophobic protesters outside, kind of. Yeah. So so he sent them some pizza, um, to to kind of just keep them going. And he actually kind of like said, you know, um, one of them was quite attractive. <laughs> I would have, you know, whatever. Then they also think he's uh, he's <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> oh, he's also he well, was because he's emptied himself out now. He is <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> yeah. He's not got one of those. I've never kissed a Tory badges, has he? He's just doing right for it. <laughs> <It's like that. laughs> he, he's also asked fans to stop doing poppers at his concert. So he's kind of said on social media, he said, "You don't need, <laughs> you don't need your girls <laughs> relaxed to see me perform Industry Baby." <laughs> Which it I, helps. It helps. I mean, what Some people like to be relaxed. <laughs> exactly. Do you? I, I sniff a gallon before I start this show. Um, <laughs> what milk or you know? You know, pop, yeah. pop, <laughs> liquid gold. I believe it's called. There are other, other. Um, I'm digging a hole here. Um, Tell me about it. Um, Mum, I hope you're proud. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, are we fans of Scooby Doo? <laughs> 
Always a mystery. Always, always a reveal. Well, Who doesn't love a reveal? So <laughs> Who loves Scooby Doo? While what with poppers or without no, well, poppers? Or whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever kind of enhances the viewing. Being fisted, maybe. Well, oh, no, that was a bit taking it very extreme. Fisted while watching Scooby Doo. Drinking yeah. a gallon of poppers. Yeah. Drinking a gallon of poppers, even. Oh, so in in the mystery gang, we've got we've got Scooby Doo. Uh -huh. We've got Shaggy, Waggy. We've got um, um, Daphne. Why did you do Daphne? I'm doing his voice. Daphne. Daphne. Uh, we've got Fred. Oh, Ray. Great, they're both uh, and then we've we've got Velma. Now this isn't this isn't mass. This isn't a shock. But Velma has actually come out. <gasps> It was um, shocked. As, yeah. as a cartoon? No, as, as a lesbian cartoon character. Oh, okay. Yeah. Getting Her Own Show, which has been written by um, one of my... Um, Good friends. <laughs> one of my, <laughs> my favourite people. No, she's, it's been written by Mindy Kaling, who oh, yeah. is... She did The Mindy Project, which was a really funny comedy show. She's done lots of Saturday Night Live kind of stuff. Um, so we've, these, are the, these are different Velmas from over the years. Kind of the original Velma from the 60s, then there's the Velma that was played in the films, and then that's the new Velma up top. I don't know what's happening there. That character that she is sat next to um, is one of her crushes. She's called Coco Diablo. OK. What are you laughing at, Mike? She's enjoying herself there. She is. <laughs> Shaggy's not looking so happy at that. And Scooby-Doo's looking away going, I can't watch what's happening there. Is she getting a sneaky finger? I don't know, Mike. <laughs> I, I really don't know. That um, lip is curled, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so she's officially come out, and even Google celebrated that. So when it was announced, mm -hmm. you could type Velma into into Google search, and it would come up with kind of like this. We've That's got a clip of it, of like all these kind of like rainbow flags and the lesbian flag kind of drifting down. Um, um, Dinkley. Now, I didn't know that. Oh, Dinkley. No, that's, I didn't know they had surnames. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> this... What? You put him... He's really putting me off today. Because I, I exclaimed Dinkley. They, had, they don't had... I didn't know they had surnames. I, I just thought they prints. were just... I just thought <laughs> they were just... That was the names. Yeah. Valma. What's Fred called then? Fred? West. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the car, the series is coming next year, and it's an adult animated Actually. series. So it could well be what you it's could porn. well be. It's, porn, isn't it? on, like, Netflix um, it's going to be on HBO Max. Oh, right. um, so the the show will premiere in twenty twenty three with ten episode first season. I hope there's a cameo from Scrappy. No, no, I wasn't a fan of Scrappy. We don't like, no, don't like Scrappy. No. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You didn't see me like, oh, like kick him in the face and all that. Like, get out of my way. No, I wanted, I wanted to die. <laughs> Maybe that's how Velma starts. Blood <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Scrappy's yeah. paws in each corner of the room. <gasps> T you know, put a little trail of, of, of doggy treats into the tumble dryer <laughs> and then sets it on. <laughs> in you go, Scrappy. Um, anyway, I don't advocate that to, to, to do that to your pets. It's not, not, not very kind. Um, unless they really were. Um, anyway, so. <laughs> If you're a celebrity in those, you've got to have you've got to have a marketable thing. You've got to have either a range of fragrances or mm. underpants. Wines are the thing. Wines are the kind of thing. <laughs> Look, Paul Savy did that. <laughs> right we went straight to underpants like what? Like that? That is kind it's of because I want them to send me some free Carly wine. Oh, <laughs> no. if you watch, she does watch this apparently. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Um, <laughs> and the wine's not very good. I've said it. I, oh, I've tried it. I like I like the prosecco, the rosé prosecco. Yeah, I like the bottle already. Yeah, the bottle looks beautiful, but yeah, yeah. Mm. It's a few fairy lights in. It's gorgeous. Oh, um, Nigella, Nigella Lawson would love that, wouldn't she? Can you imagine yeah. it? It's a very homosexual show. This, don't know if you've gathered. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne, has launched his own range of cosmetics. So. <laughs> They worked well on him. It, from the yeah, so he's kind of following the footsteps of Harry Styles, Lil Nas X. It's a, a range of makeup with rock and roll beauty. And it, it comprises of a coffin-shaped eyeshadow palette. We've got the range here. Now, to me, it looks like something out of Smithy's, doesn't it? It's like that looks, Smithy's yeah. face paints. Um, I like that school box. The products are available on American uh, retail site, and they're actually selling out really, really fast. Um, but it's, they're called, it's, it's called the Prince of Darkness range. <laughs> Which... Dark shades, macabre packaging. There's even kind of like a homage to you know the thing where he bit a we bit a bat oh, yeah. head off on stage. There's a palette shaped like a bat. Um, Is that how COVID started? Is it? Was it Aussie? Was he patient zero? We don't know. 
Uh, it also includes a handheld mirror, a skull printed makeup bag, and three candles. Because you need a candle when you're putting your makeup on. He's I dropping find. demons. Um, <laughs> he's dropping. He doesn't look like he's put it on very well, though, himself. In that, that picture. I don't think he's known for his finesse and refinement. Though, yeah, so, so. I don't he's know. not a drag queen, you know that, right? Well, no, but he does wear a lot of makeup on stage. Yeah, it's just he slapped does. on, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I thought, what what would we look like if we wore his range of makeup? So, so we've, we've got a picture <laughs> of what you and I would look like with it on. Oh. Ah, I was looking, I don't yeah. you know, goth. Why is it all over my tongue? You've bitten the head off a bat. It's the blood. Okay. Yeah. I like it. It's a bit um, cabaret -esque. It is a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what You're you You're like a like fat like Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> you f***ing shady bitch. <laughs> a fat Liza Minnelli. That's the title of my autobiography. Maybe this time. <laughs> Ooh, steak <laughs> bake. <laughs> How f***ing rude is that? Right, anyway. Let's see what Paul looks like. <laughs> what does he look like? Mike? Not like a fat liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's to be fair, funny. Paul started it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the show of his news. Hope we choke on it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, thanks for that, Lee. Or should I say Liza? Liza with a Z, not Lisa with a. Yeah. Liza with a pie. Lee with a G. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around, as next it's Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee, Mike, and our special guest host, Paul Usher. Now let's get ready to explore the oddities of his search history, as it's Mike with the buzz. They want to look at giant... Oh, no, one second. Um, so, weddings. Do we like a wedding? Yeah. <laughs> What's with that face? Oh, they're a lot of palaver, aren't they? Yeah, there's lots of Pavlova and Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, why, why, why is there a, 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 a to-do do at a wedding? What? I once went to a wedding where the women were served one dessert and the men were served a different dessert. OK, and the non-binaries? There was none of that. Oh, OK. And, and I just thought, why? That's odd, isn't it? Was this in Iran? No. And when I, when I asked why, why were we getting served different things, they said, oh, because the men like that more. Than the women, and it was like, but I like both. Yeah, <laughs> that's so a surprise. <laughs> We're all shocked by that revelation. <laughs> Lee, they, I want both puddings, please. Yes, how dare you? <laughs> that is um, weird, though, because your penis doesn't take your taste buds. Well, maybe it does. Well, <laughs> it is <In> primary <laughs> uh, tasting food, um, <laughs> which is why it's no longer allowed in the pick and mix. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop and go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, a wedding has descended into chaos. Has it? Descendant as as a sixty three year old grandma was rushed to hospital. Oh wow! After she found out that one of the cakes um, was contained a copious amount of marijuana. <laughs> oh no! Um, Finished her off <laughs> exactly. Um, That's just blurred her face. <laughs> she has blurred her face. She was sixty three and she was knocked out for twelve hours. Wow! How much that, did she have? That's a lot of marijuana. That's a lot of cake. <laughs> <laughs> you fat <Yeah>, bitch. <laughs> You greedy bitch granny. Why, um... <laughs> <laughs> you get what you deserve, don't you, Jill? Well, you know what they get? You get the first bite, they get the munchies, and you just have to... OK. Did, did, did the people, did anyone got married not tell the guests yeah. that it was a, a hashish cake? <laughs> no. Oh, um, my God. So she was completely oblivious that this was happening until she woke up the following morning. Wow. 3 a.m. in hospital, going, where are, where am I? Ooh. I mean, surely that's classed as, like, drugging or something. Yeah, they don't well, tell them. Well, what happened is someone had put the, the, the cakes down and she went, oh, I'll have one of them. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it wasn't an entire cake. It wasn't like well, a... It was a she, cupcake. Oh, OK. She was like, hack into the... <laughs> it was like she was like, head first into the wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Oh, OK. Wow. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Was this the, where? Metro? I'm trying to think. Was this in this country as well? It was in the UK, yeah. Um, it was Cornwall Way. OK. Yeah. Mm. Um, Get up to all sorts in Falmouth, don't they? <laughs> so so have, have the... have the. I'm assuming it's... Is it a male-female couple? Male-male couple? Uh-huh. And police were called. <gasps> um, because she wants to prosecute whoever spiked her. 
and get the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> And get the dealer's detail. <laughs> yeah. yes. uh, she's actually then petitioned government as well, saying that everybody has the rights to know exactly what's going into their body. <laughs> you don't care that often. Do I care what's going in? I'm not fussy. Is that what they say above the eagle as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone has the right. It's implied consent, I think, that phrase is. Yeah. I think, you know, yeah. common sense would say that if you're going to put something that it could potentially have a, an adverse reaction, you would tell your guests. Yeah. This is a pot cake. <laughs> These are the pot cakes. The weed cakes. I don't know what the term weed. people use now. Edibles. 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 Oh. Yeah, sounds nice. Mm. She's still alive? Did she not she's die? Not, well, yes, she's still alive because she's called the police. I know, after waking up in hospital. It's not from beyond the grave. <laughs> she's not very chilled out about it. <laughs> no, it didn't, didn't. Well, once that buzz went, she was fuming. <laughs> she was fuming. Oh, <laughs> in six hours, I'm going to be really annoyed at this. <laughs> but right now, bring me a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Inside of my mouth feels cotton woolly. Don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. Do you both remember Harambe? Who? Harambe, the gorilla. No, actually, no. No, about the gorilla that was shot after a four-year-old fell into his pen. Oh, yes! yes. No? No? <laughs> it wasn't recent. A couple of years ago now. Um, basically, child fell into a pen at the zoo. Gorilla went. Kill it. No, um, he, oh, no, he didn't kill it. He str didn't he stroke the child's head until same thing. No, it is. I will say. Whoa! <laughs> He's got to think of a defence. He? <laughs> He's not going to be able to say much of a defence, is he? He's dead. He is. <laughs> um, anyway, um, but Harry was then shot. Oh, oh I don't right, remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the gorilla was killed because the child may have been in danger. It's terrible because they're so like, intelligent. And... Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is that they've managed to save his sperm. So they've frozen Harambe's sperm. Yeah, just for, just for a pudding. Um, How long after he died did they decide this? Quite quickly. Oh, quite quickly. Yeah, it's not oh, really we shot the gorilla in the head. Let's cock, whack him up before the blood stops. <laughs> it was it. <laughs> a death gasm. Oh! oh. <laughs> You thought you thought your joke about. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. negrophilia. What's, what's wrong with wanking off a dead gorilla? Uh, oh my god! Um, they just because he was such a big gorilla, he was like a specimen, and went. Well, we need to preserve this kind of great gorilla. They have tiny, tiny genitals, though, don't they? they don't, I've never really felt. <laughs> Never All got to second base. You, you know, a just... gorilla's genitals and gone, are they big or small? It's just been dinner and drinks when I've been here. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Harambe. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I didn't hear about this. Yeah. I remember the I remember because the, the kid climbed over the barrier, mm -hmm. landed on the concrete at the bottom, and was kind of going, eh, and he came over. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they got the sperm. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's very sad to me, but just stay there, let me wipe you down. <laughs> Pop it in a pot. Um, <laughs> But I'm sh surely this should have gone like he's not going to harm the child. Let's just get the child. <laughs> I don't remember them. I thought he kind of like put his hand on the kid's back and kind of like stroked him, and then they shooed him away, shot him in the head. Okay. So yes, around his death caused a huge amount of controversy after the gorilla was shot when a four-year-old boy fell into his enclosure. So, yeah. Oh. But the good news is his sperm survived. Okay. And what are they going to do with it? They're going to put it on a Mr. Whippy. They're going to impregnate another gorilla, aren't they? Is this, has this happened? Is, is no, there a, they're going to. They're going to. Why is this news now, Mike? Because they've admitted that they've got the sperm and they're going oh, to. Oh, OK. Right, OK. It's good news. Oh, it's a very bizarre story. Yeah. And if you've never watched The Buzz before... <laughs> well, spring Watch will love it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, or an autumn watch. <laughs> <laughs> What's the gestation period of a great ape? I don't know. I would have thought nine months. I would have thought, like, 42. Forty you know, like a a big animal, like elephant. Like an elephant. Ele <laughs> yeah, but what I mean big animals, like a pregnant fish, aren't they? And if you know how long, <laughs> just <laughs> he's right in. Yes, <laughs> attach it to at Lee. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV on our social media platforms, and that brings us nicely to our story of the week. I know you love a, a beauty care regime, Lee. Clearly. Yes. <laughs> Look at the evidence. Did, I didn't say it worked. <laughs> and, um, before we start the show, um, Paul was looking for those, you know, the little under eye. Oh, yeah, the, the gel yeah. patches. Little gel patches thing. I think mm. you've probably got some of them on your person. Not on my person. I have them in, in my um, in my beauty Vestibules. container. <laughs> yeah, beauty container. 
It's a just bit, just bit of Vaseline. That <laughs> God, you're a shady <laughs> bitch today. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, one young gentleman has been humiliated. Who hasn't? Did he? Did he? Was he guest on the show? <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he basically was using some of his mum's sort of like skincare regime to make himself look better. Okay. Right? I was doing it on TikTok Ugh. until someone popped in the comments and went, "Femme Fresh is not for your face." Oh, I'm not entirely sure what Femme Fresh is. It's a. Um, I'm assuming it's like think of it like an intimate wipe. Oh, okay. For a lady. For a lady part. To, I've never to been make the, there. To make the innies smell Okay. Nice. Innies. Innies. Um, yeah. They do the outies as well. Huh? There's, a number, there's a number of... I wouldn't know. No. <laughs> um, okay. Not examined one close. All right. Okay. So, yeah, so he was there on TikTok washing his face quite happily going, oh, it's making my skin feel wonderful. <laughs> like, oh. I mean, is that a setup? Because you think, did he even read the thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's clear it'll say femme fresh. Yeah. For all your Direction. vaginal needs. It doesn't vaginal, say vaginal, vaginal, vaginal. <laughs> I think it just says intimate wash. Oh, okay. Intimate, I'd love an intimate wash. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get you a deal with fans. Yeah. Give me a bottle of Kylie Rose, can, eh? Have an intimate wash. <laughs> Ooh, I can see you next tour. Sponsored by Femme Fresh. They can demon dumps and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Obsessed with that. I've referenced it about three times. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 did he stop using it when he realised it was vag cream? He has stopped using it. <laughs> vag cream. Vag cream. It's a wash, it's not a cream. Is it a wash? Okay. It's a, wa it's a wash. I don't think you can get a spray. But, um, yeah, thankfully that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you very much for that, Mike. I see you as a femme fresh kind of person. No, oh, I like the smell of it rotten. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stick around, as coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Ooza Kazoo, and this is one for our resident... What does that say? Omnisquatter. Omnisquatter. What's an omnisquatter? <laughs> you don't normally ignore it, so I just write shit. <laughs> <laughs> so after you pop, you omnisquatter. I bet it's filth, that. Yeah, probably. Won't be the first time. Game of the week. So Mike is going to play songs through a kazoo, and myself and Paul have to interrupt when we think we know what it is. So we've got our buzzers, so we just test them. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're ready for the first one, Mike. Oh. Brace yourself. Because <laughs> it's brilliant. Hold it like a pipe. <laughs> TLC Waterfall. Yes. <laughs> God, that's a hit list. You're not happy with that, are you, Lee? No. Because he got it. I can, I, never un I can never understand them. Because <laughs> <laughs> Lee says I'm really bad at this. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Next one. <laughs> if this is what I think it is, you're shamed. I think that is Paul Usher. Ah. Uh -huh. And... <laughs> Preston Boy. Oh, it's not the name of the song, Lee. Oh, no! Paul, can you have a guess of what it could be? Well, if it is that song, then it's Jesus is a Preston Boy. Correct, well done, Paul. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy! Don't even recognise your own song as well, whatever. Crazy. Wow. I'm shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next one. <laughs> It's Dua Lipa, but uh, levitating? No. Dua Lipa, don't start. It's Dua Lipa, the moonlight. I thought Come it was. Come on, dance like... with me. I'm levitating. Levitating, right? Dual carriageway. It was Pony by. Um, <laughs> Ginwine or whatever it is. What? Ah. Do do, jump on it, ride it, my pony. Actually, now we've discovered this, he should sue Dua Lipa, shouldn't he? Because it's the possibly, same. Quite possibly, yes. <laughs> we, we've alive? started some legal we, yeah. <laughs> issues. Yeah. Some beef. <laughs> Get some beef. Dua Lipa and Ginwine. <laughs> anyway, 
Pony. I love Pony as well. <laughs> Little Mix. Um, oh, what do titles evade me? Ah, um, uh, oh, do you know? Little Mix. Um, Black Magic. No, Sweet. Is it Sweet Melody? We're saying Sweet Melody by Little Mix? I am saying that. It was Unholy by Sam Smith. I think there's going to be a lot of legal he doesn't disputes even, about He doesn't even know what that is. So. <laughs> what? I... Unholy. That one. With Kim Petras. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Sounds like Little Mix. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. Is that it? That's all I'm going to do. Do it again. I don't know. We may have already featured the artist. Is it me again? That's ridiculous. I was actually thinking, what's mine? That could be that. How awkward. <laughs> but it's okay because you've not pressed the buzzer, so it doesn't count. Yeah, it's I'm... not the one. It's not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are you doing a chorus or are you doing a verse? I'm doing a chorus. I'm actually doing the title of the song. Paper chorus. Mm -mm. I'm doing on my you own. Buy these yourself. <laughs> 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 what was the word you were just singing there, Paul? The last one just said time don't heal, but correct. Well done. That's not time don't it heal. <laughs> but I see, I see an album, a kazoo. Version oh, of I know, I know. I think, yeah, yeah. Time don't heal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Sorry, can I just say I need to write stronger melodies. I know this. What? Shame on you. <laughs> um, never gonna leave me, or never gonna leave him, by uh, Paul Usher. Correct. Well done. <laughs> um, these... Are you really Paul Usher? Have you sent somebody in? <laughs> we have an imposter. I'm, I'm baffled. Why am I guessing? You know, dual lip and little mix and me. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. You know, I'm like... <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I'll get this one. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Roll Out the Barrel by Paul Usher? <laughs> Roll Out the Barrel? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Think, think um, wrestling slash movie person. Cartoons. Rock. Wrestling slash movie person? Slash cartoons. It's a singer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Wrestler, film, slash for actor, slash cartoons. <laughs> John Senna. John <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. That, oh, that's, you're welcome. I've actually sung the lyric, you're welcome, four times yeah. now. It's called You're Welcome from Moana. Moana. Oh. I don't watch children's films. It's not a children's film, it's Disney. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, right, because The Rock was in it. Yeah, right, The yeah. Rock was the guy that was singing You're Welcome, yeah. Good, eager there. <laughs> um. <sighs> right, let's move on. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. It's big and chunky by Will I Am. I don't know if I've ever heard it's that what? song. It's what? Big and Chunky by Will I Am? Yes. Are you throwing shade again? 
<laughs> it's a song by Will I Am. I it's have never heard on, that song ever. It's yeah. on TikTok with the the big muscly men making the pecs bounce. When they... No, that's that. That's why he's done it. Why haven't I seen that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, how have you not seen that? <laughs> 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 Chico Latino by uh, Jerry Halliwell. No. Ah, it, it was. It was. <laughs> oh, it was. I'm, I'm right. I'll go. <laughs> Donde esta mi chico Latino? Okay, we found we found the we found the era. Well, yeah. Not modern yeah. music. No. Okay. What? 1999. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one. <laughs> Wannabe by the Spice Girls. It was. In your face, Paul. I was just like... Oh. <laughs> Why is it going what, mental? What was the last one? That was um, Wannabe by the Spice Girls. No, but the one before that. Chico Matsuno. Oh, so I got it. Yeah, yeah you got it. it. All right. Yeah. I reacted. I, I was like, oh, my God, I thought it was that. <laughs> Danny Minogue um, put the needle on it. Yes, well done. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but do you want the same song or a different song? <laughs> what ones I know. <laughs> what, what do you know? Okay. I, do you I'm, know this song? <laughs> I think it's a tie. No, that's a card. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? Poor one. He didn't even know any of his own songs. <laughs> how, can, how can he win? <laughs> I think we know who the true winner is. Anyway, that's gone on long enough now. <laughs> Stay with us, because after this, we've got Spotlight. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. We've spent enough time with him now, so let's get up close and personal in Spotlight. <laughs> How, how are you enjoying it so far? I, I am having the time of my life, like Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, <laughs> like but with a better, genuine relationship. Reassessing your career choices, all that kind Always. of stuff. Always. I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to invade and be here every week. So what have you been up to lately? How was your pandemic? How was my pandemic? Oh, it would have been a lot better with some Femme Fresh, to be fair. Oh. But um, no, it was, it was funny, at the start, you were like, oh, this will be fine, it'll be over in two weeks. And then when it was like six weeks, eight weeks, you're like, well, it's nice to get a bit of time to yourself, isn't it? Mm. You know, and then you sort of spiral down into a two year depression. Were you, are you, were you one of these people that lived with other people or were you? Well, I moved during it because I was, I was living in London at the start and then I moved back up here. And then I had right. to move in with my dad for a while and all this because I was like, I don't know where I can live. <laughs> and so it was all a bit crazy. But um, yeah, so I mean, I, it's hard to carry on doing music, obviously, of course, mm. during the pandemic. So I had sessions booked with producers and things that were cancelled. And so you were like, oh, my God. Did you not do the Zoom thing? Well, I did lots of different Zoom things. That sounds oh. a bit dubious. <laughs> <laughs> like, Can I make a box somehow? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a game of two halves. Because in the first, like, when you think it's going to last a short time, yeah, you, but I'll crack on with some songwriting and things. And then when it drags on, like, um, even when you rearrange gigs, they were getting cancelled again. And then you rearrange them for three months down, they get cancelled again. So it was uh, incredibly frustrating. I mean, some of the festivals that I was booked for went online. So that was interesting to sort of do uh, festivals from, like, your bedroom. You're like, this feels a bit weird. But it was nice to be able to do certain things. Mm. Um, I did do some remote recording sessions, which I'd never done before. Mm. So that was interesting. There was lots of uh, directing musicians via Zoom, like, no, don't play that, no, you <laughs> over Zoom, you know. I, I um, want that. Yeah. I was like, that drum sounds <laughs> <shit."> <laughs> <laughs> um, So, yeah, that was, that was difficult. But, uh, yeah, it, like I said, it evolved, because at the start, you're like, well, I'll do some songwriting, and then but things just keep... Get knocked back and things. So is there anything ready to be released? Any um, new stuff? Well, I've written lots and I've recorded a few things, but there's no one single coming out at the moment. Um, although I will be releasing that. Uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas cover that I that I do. Oh yes, you, that that's been all over the socials. The socials, yeah, it will be again. I'm like Mariah. <laughs> I've got that one song and it will milk for 25 <sighs> years. Get it um, there. But uh, no, last year it got added to our playlist with like Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett and all that. So oh, it did wow. Really well, yeah. 
I know. So she knows you who, who that you exist. Well, this is the thing. I got some kind of notification, and I thought it was like fake, saying you know, it didn't say Lady Gaga had added this to the place, but you've been you've been added to this place, and it was like run by her manager or nothing. And I was like, Ooh. I was like, does this mean she knows who Just I? Six <laughs> degrees of separation. You never know. I mean, there was like ninety people in this place, but I was still like, well, I'm still on it. So um, yeah, that was exciting. So I'll be plugging that again. And and. You know, so we joked about you being being a, a piano botherer, um, but you we, th there are there are a number of clips from the summer of you playing pianos in like train stations, yeah, and shopping centres, yes, um, with my Danny Minogue petite range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm her opening act now, yeah. No, but uh, I love a street piano. I love a street. They're just like there, aren't they? Yeah, and um, yes, yeah, that's exactly what a street piano. I know, but, is, but nobody nobody tells you this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I just discovered them and then have to play them. And then I started recording them to just to see what they looked like. And then I was sharing them. And people sort of liked them more than I thought they would and things. And even at Pride, I just got off the train to come to Pride. And there was another new piano in Piccadilly Station. So I did... Uh, you did your Lady Gaga, yeah. yes. And so it was really nice. Did you get... Did anybody drop a coin? Drop a coin? On the... <laughs> Listen, little, little Nas X was not there. Um, <laughs> Did you drop a kid off of the pool? No, I, I, like in, in gratitude. <laughs> that's your <laughs> on the pool. <laughs> I, I love this. this. <laughs> oh, it's Lady Gaga. Thank you, Marcia. You've cured my constipation. Uh, oh, my EP is called Fibre. <laughs> That's an album title for you, Lift. <laughs> no, like, like money. Yeah. Give you oh, like, money. like a busking type situation. Yeah, it's funny. People give me compliments rather than money, and I prefer the money. <laughs> but um, but uh, a lot of people... It's funny. It's really nice, especially when you're playing your own song. I mean, I've played ones outside Forsyth and things, and people come up to me and go, oh, I love that song. What's that? And then you go, it's, it's mine. And they go, I have a CD. Would you like it? <laughs> so that's really Scandis, nice. this. It's available on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um... But no, I mean, somebody, everyone comes up to me and says, you should put a hat out, you know, and says, you, you know, you should earn money for doing it. And uh, I never think of it because I just think, well, I don't know, I'm just playing it for fun and, want, and recording oh, it. And... Any, any available opportunity. Yeah. Play for Kylie Wine. That, just, that's what you... <laughs> that's what I'll you take mean. Rose <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> what, so... <laughs> I mean, it is a bit ribbed, that, but anyway, yeah. It is, yeah. So we've got a Christmassy song coming up. Mm, mm. What are the plans for 2023? Well, hopefully, back to bloody normal, if you know what I mean. Like, mm. this year, even at the beginning of this year, I was thinking, right, it's going to be back to normal, and it still wasn't. So, I mean, playing sort of festivals again, releasing new music and new music videos and things. I've, I've already recorded a couple of things, but I've not yet released them. So, um, yeah, just back to, hopefully, pop stardom. Mm, watch this space. Yeah. I mean, have you seen all of his videos? All of his videos? Yes. Not like every single one. So you can ask me questions the, about the, them. The, the, the sparkly jacket. Oh, I love that, yeah. Yeah. In the diner? It. Yes. Yes, yeah. I have seen that yeah, one. Yeah. I'm surprised you've not mugged him for that jacket yet. <laughs> for my ankle, probably as far as it would get. You like a gym you like a gym selfie as well, don't you? Yes. Yes. But, I mean, I, I try to limit them because I'm Give like, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm kind of that guy, aren't I? But I'm kind of... Do you know what I mean? Like, if you go every day, I don't want to post every day because that's just like, you f***ing weirdo. You have to go every day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I try and be like, let's 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 reference a book in between. So it makes me like this. Well, <laughs> hold a book in the gym? Yeah. yeah. So, but do you hold a book like this one? No, like that. <laughs> on, your, on your bicep. I don't That's think. apparently bicep there. <laughs> <laughs> So I try and do like some political siren between the shallow things. So it's like I I have got a brain as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so we're going to jump onto our jar of joy or not onto it because that would be awkward. painful. Well, not out dry. You sniff. Yeah. Um, and all that's going to happen it. I'm just going to pull out a question. Okay. And it's an either or question. Oh right. Okay. So it's nothing too taxing. Oh, like a would you rather? It's a literally would you rather? I yeah. oh, love these. Um, would you rather have a horse's tail or a unicorn horn? A horse's tail. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Leah's just come in his pants. <laughs> Should have a unicorn on. <laughs> Do you need a moment? I'm f no, it's fine. Okay. Carry on. I Were just going to explain unicorn? why you made the wrong choice, but that's fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> as I said, unicorn on, you went... <gasps> <laughs> that's obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not about me. No, I'd love a tail. Okay. okay. I can sort of imagine myself with a tail already. You can like, buy them. Like a hat. Bear, a happy dog. I'm just a happy, happy, happy dog. Um, and also a unicorn horn. 
You can't why put your head... Got, why have I now got Paul Osher featuring the pups? <laughs> At Pride? <laughs> yes! Um, but yeah, a unicorn horn. I want to put my head places, and that would prevent that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to ask the question, what kind of places, Paul? <laughs> Piano lids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Check on the keys, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. What do you imagine? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just impressed that Lee managed to reference tail butt plugs. I know things. <laughs> I'm just impressed. I'm that. aware of things. Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> As you shouldn't be aware of, but he is aware of that. <laughs> I shall I shall have a uh, a rummage in a the jar of joy. In the jar of joy. Oh, it's got me. Oh <laughs> okay. <sighs> Oh, okay. Would you rather laugh like Janice from Friends? I think I already do. Or always feel like you have to sneeze but are unable to. Oh, <laughs> that's just that's that's that'd be <laughs> horrific. That'd be like edging but no fun version. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, to be fair, I have actually read it wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your middle name? How did I read that wrong? <laughs> it is. I, I'm It'll going down edging. instead of vertically. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> would, you, would you rather uh -huh. laugh like Muttley oh, okay. dog, or laugh like Janice from Friends? I thought that was a bit of a change. <laughs> like, yeah. That's choice. Laugh or not sneeze. Or not sneeze ever again. Yeah. yeah. Um, Muttley or Janice? Um, Muttley? Okay. He's like, oh, he's like, hee hee. He's like, hee hee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just a wheezy laugh, really. Yeah. Okay. Janice is more like, <laughs> like yeah. yeah, like an angry, angry oh, sheep. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is. Mm. Would you Would you like to chew? Ooh. I nearly dropped the jar of joy. Then the that would have been a joy. nightmare. Because we'd have had to get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me read it. The which way I should read it? Is it left or right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, would you rather have Oops, I Did It Again play when you fart or have Thriller play when you burp? Oh, musical question. How apt? That's um, for you, obviously, not us. Oh, right. I thought we were just taking it, I thought we were just <laughs> taking it in turns. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, uh, thriller when I burp. Because I'm just going... Or does it start with the speaking bit? So you burp and then it goes, In the time of... And you're like... Oh. There was a scary go <laughs> in a burp voice. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could see. What was the other one? Upside uh, down again. Whenever you fight. Yeah. Comedy value. I also won't want to draw attention to that. You know, you're in the cinema, and then oops, I did it again. Goes off. You're like, oh, God. Yeah, but then doing the the thriller as you belch isn't. I think that, it'd be hilarious. That um, sort of subtle. Boom! 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 <laughs> Sorry, just just had a twix. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know why a yeah. Twix would make me bilious. <laughs> yeah. um, I'd have the Pearl and Dean um, theme tune whenever I ejaculated. But... Oh, okay. Bad, bad, bad. It sounds like fun. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> da, da. It's at the end. <laughs> but that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is could.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast services, we are Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to Paul for coming in to see us. How are you? Are we okay? Are we okay? Are we okay? It's the royal we. Do you need? <laughs> do you need an adult? Is what you need medication or anything like that? Uh, yes, please. Yes, okay, yes. we should. Medical we attention should. will be appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.